this agent sends me in for a part in the movie called Almost Famous, and it's this great part of, of Lester Banks. I'm like, oh my God, I mean, I am not qualified to audition for, I've, I've done three lines on Dharma and Greg in some, in some football commercials, but, you know, I prepare the material, I go in, I meet Gail Levin, casting director, wonderful lady, and I read it, and she looks up afterwards, I'll never forget, and she said, um, you're very good, you're not going to get this part. And I said, ah, I know that. I mean, thank you for saying that. That makes me feel so much better. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, qual she's like, no, but I want Cameron, I want Cameron to meet you. We're going to find something for you. A few weeks pass by and I don't hear anything. And then I get a phone call. There's this part that for an office or a hotel clerk that um, we want you to come back in for and Cameron's going to be in the room. I'm like, what? For, the, for five lines? Like, oh my gosh. So I go in and he's like, let's do the scene. And I said, okay. So he gets up with his handheld camera and he starts circling me. Oh, that's great. That's great. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. Okay, do that one one more time. Great. And he made me feel like, I'm a, I, like I was a movie star. A couple days later, they call and they say, yeah, you're going to play that part in the movie. It was, uh, it was an incredible experience, that being my first movie. Cameron Crowe put his stamp of approval on me, which I am forever grateful for. And I tell him that as many times as I can, either in person or via Twitter.